Well, a new memorial unveiled over the weekend allows people in Washington, D.C. to remember the victims of Hollow Damar. The memorial is a black bronze wall depicted, depicting a field of wheat. It is intended to serve as a reminder of the 1930s man-made famine engineered by the former Soviet Union under Joseph Stalin. One America's Neil W. McCabe has the story from Washington. The First Lady of Ukraine was joined by the Ukrainian ambassador to the United States, religious leaders and representatives from the White House, as well as members of Congress at the November 7, 2015 dedication of the Holodomor Memorial. In the early 1930s, Soviet Union agricultural, economic, and political policies mixed together to create a lethal cocktail called Holodomor, or genocide by starvation. Up to 10 million Ukrainians perished. The Ukrainian ambassador told One American News the dedication ceremonies were broadcast live on Ukrainian television and on live streams across the world. It's a really historical day, not only here in D.C., but in all the world for Ukrainians, and not only for Ukrainians. The ambassador said he is glad the Helodomor Memorial has joined Washington's other memorials. The Ukrainian Catholic patriarch Svetoslav Cheshuk joined other Catholic and Orthodox priests and bishops for the solemn blessing ceremony. This memorial will be perpetual voice of the millions of victims of the Ukrainian genocide. And it is so important that a voice will be heard here in Washington. Michigan Democratic Congressman Sander Levin, who spoke at the ceremony, said he was motivated to support the memorial project after hearing firsthand stories from his constituents that contradicted descriptions in the history books. Levin said the memorial project began before the Russian invasion of Ukraine but it takes on greater meaning as the Ukrainian-Russian crisis continues. It's now important more than ever to remember the, the, the results of, of, a, of a policy that brought death and to stand firmly whenever there's any threat. Washington artist Larissa Curlis designed the 30-foot bronze wall of wheat for the Holodomor Memorial, which took nine months to produce. Now it is a permanent part of the Capitol's tapestry of monuments. Neil W. McCabe, One America News, Washington.